and the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood, so it's, it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the, tell the blood from the mud. But I gotta get in there, get right in that baby rap's stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I'd... Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every dam wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring... Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? Ooh, charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? What are you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass, wait, that ain't it. Brass rats? Let's... Let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well... I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pills. They're very good. I'm cut off for the mud, on account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. Well, they work. We got a deal or what? Velma seem out of sorts to you? She's always cranky. If Velma's capable of running the warehouse... Hello, dearie. Why, I don't believe I've seen you before. 
and with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. Quite the bedside manner, lady. Well, it's so rare I get the pleasure of new company. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? And what a helpful young man you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. Whiskey helps, too. Please leave medical advice to the professionals. Now, dearie, who is this pickup for? I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stellar Bay residents. Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little extra? Aren't you a naughty boy? There are no discounts here, but uh, Auntie knows what to do with mischievous men like you. Oh, I'd have to talk to Mr. Nandi about you, of course. Anyway, is there anyone else needing a pickup from Auntie Abigail? Don't blame me if I puke on your shoes. Aren't you a saucy thing? I may not be a fresh young thing anymore, but with age comes experience, dearie. Much as I'd love to, my rheumatism is especially fierce at the moment, and I'm all out of my medicine. But I'd hate to send you away empty-handed. You were here for Caffeinoid, weren't you? Who's it for? Oh, her. It's none of my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. I'm afraid not. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. Flatter an old woman. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face for the customers. And to keep an extra key to the supply room for all the times Dr. Williams misplaced his. The one upstairs, where we store our medicines.
Chin up, dearie. If Velma's capable of running the wagon... Hello again, dearie. What can I get you? And what a helpful... Who... Oh. It's... No? Doc? Well, this certainly isn't worth my good health. I'll get you a dose, but I'll have you know. I'm very disappointed in you. There, and good riddance. That's the last help you're getting from Abigail Edwards. If Velma's capable of running the warehouse, she can certainly pick up her own caffeinoid. Don't be so hard on me. Ah, the charmer! Welcome... Oh. Says someone who's never had any fun. Exactly. See? I'm glad someone on your crew's got some sense of... Sensible. Got her head on straight. Whew, that hits the spot. Right in the, uh... Oh, no, there it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. That was fast. I gotta see about stocking some on the ship. You be careful. The first one's free. After that, they'll offer you gainful employment. Great. Where to? Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. If you're more of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. Mighty big gun you got there. I'm looking forward to seeing you use it. A ship? Well, look at you. I'll find a spot there to call my own for now. Find me when you're ready. Take real good care of your pistol, Dr. Fenhill. I oughta. It's kept me alive this long. I mean, you treat it nice. Makes me happy to see, because I feel the same way about my wrench. Look, it's a tool that does a job. Feelings got nothing to do with it. Heading back. Incoming!
Here they come! They're in the pit. The drop on us.
Why do people make such a big thing out of hiking? Once you're up, you just gotta go down again. 
I wonder... This station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You a marauder? Cause me and my sunshine, that's my gun if you were wondering, we don't take kindly to marauders. A coherent enough response, I reckon. Must be true. You're clear, but I would caution you against pressing on ahead. This station's plumb crawling with marauders, you know? I take it you ain't met the other C3s. Me and Sunshine are doing exactly what we've been tasked with. You want more details? You ought to talk to my crew. They're guarding a small barracks to the southeast, by the edge of the mountain. There is nothing I'd enjoy more, but the C3s play it by the book. Usually. Go petition the boss man. Maybe you can convince him to alter my duties. See that path that runs underneath that giant archway? Follow it on down. There's a little station near the cliff. You'll find the rest of my crew there.
realize this being as you're an outsider, but the blaring alarms indicate the station's on lockdown. Which means you can't ever get to me. So leave already. out there whoever you are yes yes i can see you come here and talk to me face to intercom i can't tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head what in the galaxy are you doing sniffing around my station unless you are in fact trying to suicide by marauder nice and coherent good take it you're not with the marauders then by the hand of faith and my own cunning skill i run this station the Marauders may have other plans, and since my hired hands have clearly turned idle, it appears I have need of you. As my newest contractor, you may call me the Broker. Excellent! I have a good feeling about our business relationship. I'm sure it will go much more smoothly than with those unscrupulous mercenaries I hired. I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the Marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. Too many, considering I hired a bunch of no-good mercs to keep them out in the first place. Already, they've caused considerable damage to the station's property. If they take down the broadcast equipment, I'll be out of a job, permanently. Great work!
We're doing it. I wish I could do that.
Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. But I admit, I do wonder why you ventured here at all. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? Ah, yes. Our little chat on the intercom. You're looking for the premier broker for all of Monarch. Which you knew was me, clearly. Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts, always. Are you fibbing? Be honest. Careful. I know that line. I use it all the time. I take offense to that. Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. I am awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. Exactly what I was thinking. They hurt us all with their pettiness. Which, of course, has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extraplanetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Graham and Sanjar to stop transmitting on their end. You do that, I'll be here, waiting on the receiving end. Luck be with you. I have a feeling you'll be needing a pinch of it, plus a vat of patience. Is that a trick question? Because to answer it, you'd need to pay me. Of course, I could offer you a vastly more interesting bit of data instead. Try me. Ask me anything you'd like. I'll even offer it for free. We'll call it an exchange for your help with the broadcast. Ask me what you will. How low you seemingly regard my trade. Be a doll and shoot any...
Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting we're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. Seems like a nice little town. Except for all the dead critters. Right. Romantically? Yeah. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. Stop. No. Spreading the truth is the only way to combat the board's poisonous campaign of propaganda against their people. They can't be everywhere at once. Surely there are radios that still catch our message here and there. Surely.
Uh, excuse me, I'm from Edgewater on Terra 2. If you'll pardon my saying, nobody I know has ever heard of you. All the more reason to double down on our efforts. Graham, we should be focusing on survival anyway. Food, ammo, and medicine. Maybe now's the time to pivot. Pivot, huh? If radio isn't working, we might try another way. It seems the captain's timing is more than just serendipitous. It must be fate. I've had my sights on an old printing press for some time. The board uses magazines and advertisements to subtly focus the colony's attention. We will use their tricks against them. Wait, that's not what I meant. Help me clear out and repair the press, and I will have no need for that rust bucket of a radio tower. Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought... rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... Wait, where is Huxley? It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. One of our sympathizers, a woman named Carlotta, periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly, though the goods now come at a considerable markup. She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges? Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. <laughs> 